Hello and um, welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the process for editing a course in um, our bootcamp so that, um, you know, if you, if you find yourself needing to update your own course, uh, you can do so. Um, hopefully I got this working. Yeah, it looks like the recorder's recording. So, all right, so these are some suggested edits for the um, upcoming year for our tutor LMS course. And that uh, is kind of probably where we should start here. The fact is that um, we're using something called tutor LMS. LMS stands for learning management system. And it's it's really a, a way for the um, for our team to create um, just little training courses for incoming interns. Um, I'm gonna update this because I think I might've made it a change, but I'm gonna show you kind of how to get to it. Like there should be some rather easy ways to do this. Uh, I probably have to apologize because, um, well, it's summer break and my kids are home and they're making a lot of noise in the kitchen. So I uh, apologize for all the, all the background noise there. Um, so I'll show you the first way just to get to the courses. Go to dmeinterns.org and then you can go to, um, once you're, you got to be logged in. Go to links for new interns and click on the ME bootcamp. And then since, you know, for instance, I'm, I'm doing the editing course. Let's see if I can just go straight to the editing again, uh, editing intern. So I'm just kind of click on this and I can continue to the lesson if I want, but I can also edit the course. So I'll just click edit course and bootcamp for editing. And now I'm in the course. So that's one way to do it. Um, I'm sure there's another way. Let's see if I can do it from the dashboard. Tutor LMS courses, and then go up oh, bootcamp for editing and click edit. So there's two different ways really to get in here. Um, one, you can just go straight to the courses um, on from the homepage in the in, new intern links, or you can go in the in the back end in the dashboard um, and go to the Tutor LMS uh, section and then select courses, choose the one that you want and click edit. Um, I guess an easy way to tell whether or not you have access to edit the courses would be to just kind of look for Tutor LMS in here. If you don't have Tutor LMS, then you are not going to be able to do this and you'll need to contact myself or someone else in the web department who has permissions um, to give you access to it so that you can make updates. Um, and now once you're in here, so this is kind of the home page of the course. Let me go ahead and um, open up the course so you can like view it. Bootcamp for editing. Notice this is kind of the description right here for Department of Veterans Affairs, Digital Media Engagement, um, editing interns, editing team interns. And you got a job code right here. Um, well, this little section right here can be updated right here. Let me get rid of this one. I got it open twice. Um, so this is that section right there. That's the description, the job description. Um, Perhaps one day we'll make it a little more, I don't know, exciting. <laughs> but right now, this is basically what it is, is some, some info. And, and you know what? It gets the job done. So that's what really matters. Um, but now, when you want to start digging into the actual lessons um, in the course, there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, you can go, like, continue to the lesson right here. And then probably, let's see. All right, so maybe there's not a couple ways you can do it. <laughs> it's just one way you can do it. Um, this is not a way that you can do it. So sorry, I steered you wrong there. Um, let's go back here uh, and go back over to this section from the back end. So this is where I'm editing the course, right? Um, and then if you scroll down to the very bottom, you have your course builder. And uh, you see these little drop down arrows, you can click them. You could trash an entire lesson. Um, each one of these is a lesson. Okay, so you got your, um, you got your traditional lesson here, and then you have um, you have quizzes. So you can add lessons or quizzes here. Um, and this one's a lesson, this one's a quiz. And you can build out the quizzes um, as you see fit. So let me like click on one of these so you can kind of see what's in it. Get your, this is the title. You can put a description in there if you want. Questions, you create the questions, you set the answers and stuff, and then um, oh, you can do time limits if you <laughs> So there's a lot of settings you can do in here if you want to set it up. Um, I'm not going to change any of that because I don't want to, but, um, I just want to show you that that's kind of how you do it. So you can click welcome 
And then it has like a little um, editor right here that you can work with if you want. Um, that, I mean, you know, that's that's one way to do it if you want to. But um, I prefer to have a full size screen to uh, do my edit. So I click on the classic editor right here and it opens up in a new tab. And then you get the full size screen to work with and you can make full, you know, edits in a full um, size screen, if that makes sense. Um, you don't need to add footers or headers or widgets or any of this sidebar stuff. So I don't know what's there, but, um, and then you can just, it's just kind of like a page or a blog post. You can just make changes to it, um, add things to it. Recently, I just added this video as an embed. Um, to show interns how to mark a lesson complete in the DME bootcamp. Um, so I actually, I just added a YouTube uh, um, link and it, it pulled it in as an embed. So that was cool. Make sure that once you make an edit to a lesson, you click update and then you can close out the lesson. Um, and you may need to update here as well. I'm not sure, um, but it, it can't hurt. So, you know, you can click update um, and then you can move on to the next one. So let's we'll see. Working with your team, I've already gone through this one, this one, um, and click on Slack. Let's say, you know, here's, here's the Slack information. It's just kind of really hard to read in this small screen, so I click Classic Editor. And then if I found anything that I wanted to change, I would go in here and I would change it. But I don't think that there's anything that needs changing just now. So. Um, but if I did change something, I would click update and then I would um, close it out. And then, uh, you know, either close this or click update here. I don't know. I'll probably just click update for the heck of it. It's not going to hurt. All right. And so that's lesson updated. Okay, cool. Um, you know, organizational structure. I mean, this, this works. Basically, you just kind of go through it and um, whichever thing you want to dig into, you just go ahead and dig in. Um, and if you want to add a lesson, organizational structure, click add lesson, give it a, um, let's see, name. <laughs> this is a sample lesson. Oops, Smapple lesson. Sample lesson. And I'm going to update it. Boom. It's a lesson called name. <laughs> so and there it is. Now it's a part of the uh, now it's a part of the course. Um, and if I wanted to, I can break it out into the classic editor, but I'm not going to because I want to delete it because it was done. All right. So click button, but it didn't go anywhere. Mm. Delete. Yes. Okay. There we go. Maybe I missed it. Are you sure? Yes. By name. I'm assuming that this is going to end up in the WordPress trash um, where you could probably resurrect it if you needed to. I don't know that for sure, but um, that is an indication that would be an indication that if if you were to delete something, um, that's not the end of it. Like you, you could go resurrect it if you made a mistake. Um, and then as far as uh, editing, you know, if you if you want to edit one of these, I think I, I mentioned this already, but like all you got to do is click it. Also, I think this little um, icon right here is trying to indicate to you, you can click on this and drag it around. Yep. So if you want to move one above the other or below another, um, you can just click and drag it and you can move it around. But if you want to open it up, you click on it and that opens it up. And there you can make your edits. But again, I go to the classic editor. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have questions about how to do this, feel free to ask me. Uh, and I'd be happy to explain things to you. Um, other than that, this is how you update your course. Uh, and don't forget, after making all your updates uh, to the individual lessons, just go ahead and give it a courtesy update over here on the overall course, just for the heck of it. Uh, that's all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.